the piano started playing here the other night and like I didn't even hear it, it was my brother because his room's right here and he like hates all this stuff, never talks about it, like scared of all of it, it's just like not for him. So he's never like uttered a word of anything paranormal and the other morning we woke up and he's like, in the middle of the night I heard banging on the walls in here and then it sounded like something shattered on the floor and this was at like three or four in the morning he said and then after the bang he heard like doo -doo 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 on the piano. And we'll turn the light in here on, completely on. So I've lived here my whole life and from probably like three I remember waking up in the middle of the night and seeing a shadow standing in the corner of my room and just being terrified. There's just always been stuff happening here and I never knew why. My parents always said that there's nothing here until when I got her like two years ago. She'd be staring in the corner barking at something playing and one of the times my dad came in and was like, what is she barking at? I'm like, oh, it's just the ghost of the house. She's playing with him. And my dad finally was like, all right, tell me about the ghost. And he sat down and I was like, okay, this is weird that he even wants to listen. So I told him just like over the years of what like the persona that was built around this guy. And I was like, oh, it's just, he used to live here. He was the old owner of the house and he died. So he just likes to hang out here. And that's when my dad told me that my parents were the second owner and the guy who owned the house before them took his life in the garage. And he was an old man. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's one of the reasons why the garage is haunted. But other than that, I did some research and just talking to like, friends throughout school who lived in like, the track across from mine. There were two of my friends who said that they had weird stuff happen in their house too and one of them told me that our entire neighborhood is built on Native American burial grounds because this all used to be the wetlands and so basically they built all the houses on top of the wet- Gaia! <laughs> Damn. The attention whore! <laughs> Sorry, Sammy, it's okay. <laughs> The ghost. <laughs> no, 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 that's no, the dog. No, that's the dog. Oh, okay. I was like, wait. I was like, I did another one that like might be is my parents have traveled like all over to third world countries, like all over the world, and they always brought back like these artifacts. The, all the bad ones are gone now, but when like I always felt weird about them just in general because there were some really weird ones here. And so when Amanda came over the first time, she's like, there's someone definitely did something bad to one of, or multiple of these like little figurines. So that night my mom like finally got rid of them. The first time I came here was absolutely insane. Like, the, I feel like the way Matthew and I met is insane. You know, TikTok came out, whatever. But you didn't even post too much haunted content until no, your no, garage. No. Yeah, because I would just be, I was converting a van and I'd be like working at night and have like the camera pointed at me and behind me was the open garage. And people would comment that they saw stuff moving or they saw an orb or heard a voice, stuff like that. And that's when people were like, can you tell us more about your house? And I'm like, okay. And that's how it kind of started for me. And so when Matthew saw me on TikTok, we both grew up in haunted houses, you know, I happened to see what might be there. To make it simple, like I'm a medium is what people call it. If you guys have never heard of that, it's someone who's able to connect to the other side. From the time that I was able to hold a pencil, I used to draw circles on literally anything I could get my hands on. It's really hot in there. <laughs> it's it's never hot in my house. house. I've been saying it all night. I've been saying it all night. It's just weird because my house is never this hot. I know, we always have the heater yeah. on. It's because I'm here. Oh my no. god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
but yeah, I used to draw circles on anything I could get my hands on and my mom thought by the time I was three that maybe I was autistic because I had these repetitive habits and I wasn't speaking. So my grandma happens to be a child psychiatrist, so she took me to my grandma. She gave me checked out, make sure everything was good, you know. She started asking me all these questions, I was ignoring her. My mom goes, watch what she does. And she puts down a piece of paper, start going to town, doing my thing, you know. My grandma's like, what are you drawing? I ignore her. And she notices that in every circle I do two little dots. Like, she knows I was drawing like faces. And so she pointed to the little circles, the little dots in the circles, and she goes, what are these? And I go, eyes. She goes, what are you drawing? And I go, demons. My mom's like, well, yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That was basically it. Don't know why she didn't drop me off at the fire station at that point, but oh <laughs> took me home and it basically just progressed. At that point, I started speaking in full sentences and my mom jokes never stopped. But I also started describing really a negative entity that was like in our home. Right? Oh, stop! You're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> From the time I was like three to the time I was four, five, she thought that it was one of three options. Either I was crazy and needed to be all the way, you know? I was making up for attention because I have a brother that's two years older than me, or I really was seeing a demon in the house. And she obviously didn't want to believe that it was that latter option. I basically went through the next two years like having panic attacks at night, I couldn't sleep, I was scared all the time, I described this thing. Like I said, I have a brother that's two years older, so I wasn't allowed to talk about it. So to let somebody know that it was in the house, my mom just used to be like, blink twice. You know, that way I wasn't so alone, but like, like we just didn't talk about it. And around the time I was four or five, my mom was at her wit's end because I wasn't sleeping and I was just a frustrated mom. She didn't know what to do. And so like any good mom, she pulls up her laptop and I remember her being in the corner of the room and walking up to the foot of, like, footstool. And she was researching priests to come and do a home exorcism. And she had never told anyone that she was gonna do it. She just sat down one night and thought, this is the next step. Cause well, like poltergeist, like that's the only option. Exorcism, like, those are our only books to follow, the movies. So she's searching this and I walk up to her and I go, Mom, he says don't. And she looks up at me and she goes, <laughs> don't what, Amanda? And I go, he says, don't call a priest. And that was the point that my mom realized without a doubt that there was somebody standing behind her in the corner, reading off of her computer screen and telling, oh, telling me, tell her not to call a priest. That's so scary. So she called the priest. <laughs> oh God, no crying. She still called it. She called the priest. Would you? Would you not? If something told you, I would just house, move out and like. So she called the priest. You have to make an appointment with them. How insane is that? So while we waited, she sent my brother to the church to get holy water, just like we did tonight. Mom, sorry. Just like we did tonight. I remember my brother, he's maybe like 10 years older than me. I was following him and my mom around the downstairs of our house. And he had a Gatorade bottle with the label ripped off. <laughs> like back then, do you remember they were tinted blue? Yeah. And I remember him dumping this Gatorade in his hands and flicking it on the corners of all of the walls and like putting it on the door frames and stuff. And I remember this, I think I was so young, but I remember it because like the way that this thing in our house was screaming and the way I could hear it. And I just remember covering my ears trying to not and still being able to because obviously that's not how I hear things. It's not that way, it's not physical. And just like rocking back and forth, like begging them to stop. And I couldn't understand why splashing Gatorade in the corners of the rooms was like making this thing so mad. And it wasn't until I was 16, we had moved out of the house and I was 12 years old because of these hauntings. They just ended up getting more and more violent. That I brought this story up to my mom and she goes, it was holy water in the Gatorade bottle. So I didn't even know that until I was like around 16. But and you haven't used holy water since then, right? No, so today Mackie and I were driving around <laughs> and uh, we, we pull up to the church and she's like, they just have it in there. Like when was the last time you got holy water? I'm like, oh, I don't remember. I'm holy water, like when I was six, it was just in my house in a Gatorade bottle. But got all of it. So that's kind of like a little bit about like, me. When I was 12, obviously we moved out. We just wake up with like hand prints, scratch marks, like things, cupboards were open, things would get thrown. Like it was a lot of physical stuff, a lot of, it was just a lot. Mm -hmm. So we moved out when I was 12 because of it. It just completely stopped. So we were 100% convinced that it was attached to me. So when we moved out, it was a miracle that it stayed with the home. And about two weeks, we rented the home because we had to get the out of there. About two weeks after us moving out, the tenants emailed my mom and they were like, hey, this is going to sound super weird, but did you guys ever experience anything paranormal while you were living in the home? And you guys said no. We were just like, why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not going to confirm or deny. They were like, because there's yeah. definitely without a doubt something in this home and it actually calls us family members by name. We all individually hear it. But it didn't bother them. They really liked it. 
What? So like, oh my god. Freaks. Me and her might move out soon, like together with my boyfriend. And I'm so scared to move somewhere where it's haunted. Like, I did and you not. You thought it was me that had something with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Okay, let me explain this as best as I can. We got to Maggie's house and Amanda revealed that she feels there are two spirits attached to Lupita. Go to Maggie and Amanda's channel if you want to see Lupita cry. One was a man who served in the military. The second person Amanda mentions is someone who was killed by a driver who was under the influence. So we connected the dots and this made us think about the house that our former neighbor used to live in, where said neighbor would see a bloodied soldier. That neighbor, unfortunately, Unfortunately, passed away after being hit by a car where the driver was under the influence and her mother just recently got a tattoo of angel wings in remembrance of her daughter. I'm just nervous. She's fine unless she's asleep. What? Wait, That's what? when she gets scary. Me? Oh. Was, I always think she's scary. I thought you meant like, oh, so I'm like, oh. Is it sleeping right now? Yeah, you don't want to wake her. <laughs> <laughs> she always tries to attack me in my sleep, so. Really? What? And like, because she falls asleep and literally like, pass out. The other night I was like, almost crying. Dude, talking like, about my dead cat. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've never felt so connected to a cat. And I looked over and she was asleep. And like, I'm you're dead. talking to me, asking me about the cat like a minute ago. <laughs> to make it worse, so. she's like, are you tired? And I'm like, no, 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 I have a minute, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think he never wished it were the last boyfriend. And it was a lot of bad stuff. I was I was like really upset a lot with God because I was religious. So I'm like, I still am, but I was like, why me? You know? Yeah. I feel like I didn't do anything to deserve this. And I think I've realized since I moved out and I was around 12, 13, 14, and people's family members started coming to me and when I was sharing these messages, like the most common thing that I hear is like like, I needed to hear that, or like, you changed my life today, like, things like that, you know, I didn't realize that it could make such a, something so bad could be so good for other people. Yeah. And it was at that moment that I was like, okay, this is not shitty, and everything that I went through for the last 12 years, I would do 100 times over to be able to help one person. That's nice. So, that's what we've been doing, but tonight we're not doing that. Come on. <laughs> she DM'd me, and was like, I have a haunted house, come check it out. And I thought that's why I get murdered is going to meet some stranger like the two of on TikTok. Just like you guys did right? tonight. I, so welcome. <laughs> that's a, we're, we're literally talking about that. What? Okay. We're coming. Yeah. Be honest. Like, no, we weren't. Yeah. Right. No, like, how's it going? No, we said the same yeah. thing. Like, we, we showed up to that's be so theater last night too, and we're like, we just can't believe that like we actually go to people's houses. Yeah. It's scary. Or even yours. I'm like, wow, we're just gonna like head there. Yeah. Like, we're just, just, like, I didn't know who you guys were. I'm like, I asked Mackie, I'm like, does your mom know where we're going tonight? And she's like, no. And I'm like, because my mom doesn't know where we're going tonight. <laughs> I'm like, literally, like, no one, like, no one would have any idea. I'm like, we're stupid. We're yeah. stupid. But the first time I set, stepped foot in this house, I immediately, like, knew that something happened in the garage. So I asked Mackie, she's like, I didn't know anything. She didn't tell me anything. I shut up completely blind, stepped foot in the house and go, what happened in the garage? But yeah, when she said that, me and my mom were standing there and we were like, no freaking way. Because my mom never talked about any of it, except the one thing she'd say is that she'd get a weird feeling in the garage at night when she like gets something out of the fridge and start walking back into the house, she'd feel like someone was running up behind her. So when that was the first thing Amanda oh, yeah. said, she was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God, you are a nuisance. Why did the old man take his life though? From what I know is he was really old. His adult children like had moved out there with their families. No one ever really came to visit him. Mm -hmm. And I think he had like, he was dying of cancers. That's dying so of some sort of disease. And he was just <laughs> ready to go, I guess. Do you ever get scared at all? I do sometimes just like <laughs> but I do sometimes it just it really depends because they're always coming in and out of the house like random ones So I feel like every once in a while like a weird one will come through when I'm like out here alone at night And all of a sudden I'm like oh like this feels too weird and I'll get up and try and find someone because it just starts to feel kind of heavy But for the most part, I don't really get that scared here anymore because <laughs> Amanda's not giving in. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh no. Oh no. What is there Who's there? <laughs> Just kidding. No, but like the other <laughs> one. <laughs> 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 
Is there really something there? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but like for example, the other night when that plant thing happened. And we're like, what is going on ah! here? Mm. <laughs> you're scaring me. I know, Kai, you're freaking me out too. But that night, I was like freaked out for the rest of the night, and we were both like just scared going to sleep for some reason. That's basically the story of my house. Is the uh, old man like dangerous? Like, is he? Hurt? I don't think so. No, he just seems more like a bitter energy, you know? Like, definitely when I came here, Again, I didn't know anything and I picked up all the same things that I was an older man. I didn't know that he lived in this house, I don't think. But um, I didn't know like other things about him, just that he was bitter, that he was sick, all of like that he had taken his own life. I've never gotten a sense that he was dangerous, just kind of like, like I said, some people in life are kind and some people are assholes. Same goes for spirits. It's pretty messy. You first, Monica. <laughs> so you last, Lupita? Come on, Kaya! <laughs> Do you know how the guy took his life? Yeah, he like came in here and he like started his car. Like that back corner right there is the weirdest part, but he started his car and just like cracked his windows and just let the fumes. Oh, oh yeah. sad. Just let the what? The, the fumes, fumes, like he carbon got monoxide. the carbon monoxide poisoning. Yeah. I feel sorry. It's like that corner over there is like where his car was and that's where it always just feels super weird probably like where we get the most stuff in here but but I was playing oh, the car and the, the mattress <laughs> was right here and there was a box spring on this side and my mom's sign was like sandwiched in between the two and I was sitting here for like 45 minutes and all of a sudden like from in between the mattress and the box spring this just fell over like that yeah. What the f Do you guys actually hang out uh, here and like sit? Take this oh gosh, <laughs> not in the nighttime. Yeah, yeah. not well, for fun or anything. <laughs> we can bring in some of our equipment too. I brought it all. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, you guys. I was watching your the mission video. You ever oh, yeah. watched it? I got too scared. <laughs> really? Did you? Did you? Wait, when you the shadow walks by behind you? That's what I was. I was editing that at night, and I like saw something move like out of the corner of my eye. And I like went back over it and like saw it. And when I saw it, I like had to look away and I had to stop editing until the morning. Because <laughs> no. we're like, what is that? No, and just like, that was fed up. Yeah. How long its little arms were. Oh, and no. like that thing had to be 12 feet tall because it was right next what to a light the? post. <coughs> uh -huh. At my house, my cousin was staying with us and she would see a little girl out the window in my room. But our window's like tall. Oh, <laughs> so I mean, oh no. <laughs> no. So yeah. like, you know, it's up yeah. and then like, I don't know, that's weird. But like for some reason I was like moving forward in my dream. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I just- I You're why it's so <laughs> hot in here! I, don't know. <laughs> I have anxiety, like I, I don't know. Sometimes we like turn the light off in here, but we don't have to if you don't want to. No, Should we no, do no. it? No, no. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's a little too dark. So the music box is motion activated. If something walks in front of it, it'll play that little song. And then we have a REM pod. Yeah, these are really cool. It's there's like a temperature sensor on it and like physical. So that one's really cool too. It makes everything around it blue. Oh, and, then, shit. and then you can see oh things. My God. <laughs> it's so scary. What's that behind you? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and then we have this flashlight that is like a normal flashlight. Just one of the twist ones. And if you set it on the edge of right before it's about to turn on. And something taps it, it'll turn on and off. This is, I think, the craziest yeah. device. Where is it more dangerous so I can stay away? <laughs> <laughs> I would say my least favorite corner is definitely the one that you're standing yeah. by. Yeah. Cool. Should we put this in the corner? Yeah, you can put that in the corner. Where, oh, literally wherever you want. Okay. Okay. Did you see me drop it on the floor? Why is it staying like wait, that? Wait, what? It's still going off? Like wait, oh, it stopped. It should have been going off still. I mean, you saw when you set it down when you turned it on and didn't do that. Yeah. If something's Hello? in that corner and touch that REM pod, could you go up and touch that red light again? Just give it a little tap. Okay. 
I feel like maybe we should introduce ourselves. Okay, okay. That's, how, that's how I usually start. <laughs> don't want to stop it, but... Alrighty, hello. If anybody's in here, my name is Monica. I mean no harm. This is Lupita. Nelly, I don't mean no harm either. All harmless? <laughs> harmless individuals. We know Amanda. We've definitely hung out before. And I'm Mackie. We have devices set up all oh. of- Oh my god. It's okay. See, we just had to introduce ourselves. That's crazy. <sighs> well, if you're open to starting a line of communication, can you turn it off? Flash it off. Thank you. Can you tap anything? Can I turn this on? Yeah, I'll turn it on if you want. Oh, ooh, that's back on. Do you, would you prefer to communicate with us through this flashlight that we have placed on this table? If you would, you can turn it off for us and we'll open a line of communication and start a session. What was the question? Do you want to start a line of, <laughs> you want to start a line of communication? Oh, there it goes. If you know any of us or came here with any of us tonight. Is Lisa here? No, oh, no. <laughs> if you don't know any of us, can you tap that flashlight and turn it on? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh no, God. no, no. <laughs> Mackie, every color has gone off. I know, I saw that. <gasps> now purple. Can you back away from this table, from this, these lights going off on the table? Okay. Can you make us? it stop beeping completely? Can you step away from the REM pod? The flashlight's going off too. Let me recalibrate it. Okay. That was weird though. That was super weird. For the first time ever. I stubbed my toes so hard. Oh, I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. Technical oh. difficulties. <laughs> For the first time ever before you guys got here, because sometimes spirits do, in my experience, come to me before I go somewhere haunted or before somebody will come to me. Flashlight. And tonight was one of those instances. So I took a flashlight and before you guys ever got here, we sat down and I actually recorded so that people would know it was before you guys ever got here, before I ever met you, and wrote some things down that came through. And the first story you told happened to be one of the things that I wrote down, which is about the man who served. It went off when you said that, about the man who served. Is the man who served the spirit that's here now? Could you turn that flashlight on if you are? And if you aren't, you can make any of our other devices that are set up go off. There are two devices in that corner if you like. Got the cat ball, and then some red lights around that you can go near and touch. And then once again, if that is you, you can tap the flashlight sitting right here in front of me. Make it light up. It is. It's the man who served. <laughs> the man who served. <laughs> are you here because you have a message? If you are, can you turn that flashlight back on? And if you're not, you can make any of our other devices go off to confirm no. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> yes, so there's something. Do you know any of us here? Turn it back off if you do. Is tap that flashlight. Do you know me? Tap the flashlight again if you do. Do you know Nelly? Tap the flashlight if you do. Do you know who beat that? Tap the flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> Tap the flashlight if you know Lupita. <laughs> Make it turn on. Just give her a little tap. Yeah. Do you know Maggie? If you know me, can you tap that flashlight and make it turn on? Do you know Amanda? Tap the flashlight, please, if you do. <gasps> oh! oh my God. I was literally opening my mouth to be like, God, the stress like that everyone <laughs> yeah. felt when your name is up oh, there no. is horrible. But let me tell 
telling you the stress when it goes on when it's your name is worse. Do you feel better? Do you <laughs> know? I feel much better. Oh, good. <laughs> did you come from somewhere we went recently? Can you turn the flashlight on if you did? Oh, no. If you came from the Bay Theater, can you turn that flashlight off? Please no. <laughs> Please no. If you came from the Conjuring House, can you turn that flashlight oh, off? Oh, hey, you're you kidding me. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you came from anywhere other than the Conjuring House, turn that flashlight off. <laughs> oh, my God. Turns brighter. Right. Oh my god. Ask if it's the top hat man. I don't know. <laughs> are you the top hat man? Mm -hmm. Can you turn that flashlight on if you are? If you're the spirit that's described as the top hat man. Wait, was that you? No. Nope. Did you hear that? Yeah. That was like right behind you. There was like a knock like right there. Sounded like at the door. Can you manifest yourself in Ooh. front of this? It device just turned already? on. It just turned on. Oh what was the last question you asked? I just said, can you manifest yourself? I don't know. Oh, it's about to turn off. What does that mean? That means that they're show yourself. Yeah. Okay. No, don't show yourself. <laughs> <laughs> to this camera. Please. To this camera right here. Oh. Keep saying yes. Ask, are you good or bad? No. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> we can. No. Are you one of the nice spirits in my house? Or are you a nice spirit? Turn it off if you are. Not it getting brighter. I know. Right. It's off. It's okay, off. Okay. okay. Can you knock on the wall? If so, oh, the flashlight. If you can, go ahead and do that now. She's shy, I think. <laughs> Should we try the spirit box? Yeah. yeah, let's do it. And also, we have this music box set up on the floor right here. So if you walk in front of that, it will play music. I just heard Monica. No way. Yeah. Monica. Hello? Did you here. hear hi? I heard hi, yeah. Hi. Hold on, I think it's coming through on the other channel. Flashlight is turned on. Who's here with us? Me. Me. Do you guys speak Spanish? I do. Yeah. Earlier, um, like so do. much Spanish was coming through on the spirit box before you guys got here. I just heard a Spanish word. Right, so I, I did too. I, was, I don't know if I was tripping until you said no, Spanish. No, I definitely heard it. You knew we were coming? Yeah. Uh, can you say the name of... Here. Okay, I heard here. That was like the was Amber like Alert thing. Yeah. Well, like any alarm. Yeah. That was weird. Can you tell us how many people are here? Hold on. Flashlight. <laughs> Count. Four. You heard four? Mm -hmm. There's five here. <laughs> Is that how many spirits are here? No. Did you serve in the military? I heard no. yes. yes. Can you say one of our names? That is a lot of Spanish speaking. I uh, know. Does it always play that much Spanish? No. What? Does it always play that much Spanish? I was feeling like no. not. Never. And if you guys understand. It said Rempa. We, we know. It yeah. said Rempa or Grandpa. Did you say Grandpa?
I heard nervous. I heard that too. Tell us what your name is. Madison. <laughs> okay, so fast. Oh. Yes. Yes. Puedes decir tu nombre con esto. ¿Cómo te llamas? What is that? That was Spanish. And they answered immediately. Jose? Jose, Jose, Jose. Jose. Is your name Jose? It's just Abba. 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 ¿Lo seguiste aquí? ¿Dónde le está? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Donald. 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 Don ¿Veniste con uno de nosotras? No. ¿Vienes de las trailers? Flashlight. What, is, what does that mean? Yes. Did you guys come from the trailer park? Oh. ¿Vivías donde yo vivo? Did you live where I used to live? Creo que te es something. I think I... And then it stopped. Wait, this is so interesting because we've you know, never had Spanish, Spanish come through on here. Yeah, and I'm not even hearing any English. Every single word pretty much yeah. Spanish. What if they're being racist to us? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The, the flashlight. flashlight turned off. <laughs> Eres racista? Ah. No. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old are you? 25! That said 25! Yeah, I said 25. She just asked how old he is. How do, you say, how do you say that? Like, how did you say it in the army? Or did you say it in the army in Spanish? Uh, said you say in the military. How do you say military? In the army. In the army. Fantasma? Fantasma. Fantasma. Ghost. Wait, no way. No, yeah. Was what clear. the fuck? See, this is it? insane. It's I'm like, it's always English insane. for us. I've never seen this. Flashlight. Flashlight. Do you know that you're a phantasm? What is that? What's like a motorcycle? Can you I turn that off? Yeah. Oh, oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> But it was just scary. going on for so long. Like, ah, ah, ah. like what the fuck? Wait, you should ask in Spanish for it to set off like the music box oh. or the REM pod. Puedes acercarte en cualquier de estos um, máquinas. <laughs> este de aquí, mm -hmm. donde está la luz rojo, Pero, roja. Perdóname, mi mi amiga es un poco pendeja, no sabe español. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably a dumbass. <laughs> Um, puedes acercarte a este luz rojo, roja, y al que está allí en la esquina, y también esa cajita de allí. Si pasas por ahí, va a jugar música, y si te gusta música, pásate por ahí. Para comunicar con nosotras. Maybe there's too many devices. Oh, no. no. ¿Te gusta más el luz? Yeah, I have that too. Ya. Tienes un mensaje para nosotras? Do you have a message for us? Can you ask how many spirits are here? Uh, ¿Cuántos espíritus hay aquí?
she thinks that she speaks bad Spanish. I was just wondering because I understand it, so I thought it might have to be. <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? Oh, 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 fuck! Oh. I'm gonna turn it on. Flashlight went on at the same time. Is it still going off? No. Second, like I turned this on, maybe. The REM pod was just going on. Look, there it goes. No, you can touch it. Are you touching the REM pod right now? Can you ask me? Can you put what? Oh no! I just, oh my god! What? My face on there. <laughs> I pop up from nowhere. <laughs> oh my god! That's so funny. <laughs> Like, I want it to be done already. I'm gonna turn this off. I just heard my name. Oh my god. That's so gnarly. Uh, I'm looking at the corner by myself. <laughs> oh oh my god. Oh, shut up. Oh, turn it on. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Also overheated. overheated. Or do you want to just sit in the living room? No. <laughs> I don't want to be more scared in the car. But you guys could help hang with the dog. Oh. The dog. It loves the dog. Can you make a different color on the REM pod and turn on? So what does it mean when it's green? Um, oh, I the think light, the light. Flashlight? Oh. I'm pretty sure... Like, the closer you get, so like, it's like the furthest away. If you get closer, it changes colors. Can you go a little bit closer? Can you grab the antenna and make yellow, blue, or purple go on? Just put more energy into that device that you're already touching. A little bit more, you can do it. Just grab it. The light is on. It's definitely sped up since you It asked. has. It's like it's trying really hard. Just a little bit more. You can take <laughs> energy from the light. <laughs> that makes it easier. Can you step back away from the antenna completely? Step back away from the red light and make it stop? Please? Can you step away from the REM pod? <laughs> further, a little bit further, please. We'll give you 10 seconds to make the REM pod stop beeping completely. 10. Or we're gonna turn oh. it off. Yeah, we're gonna turn it off. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> Doesn't want us to turn it off. If you feel more comfortable with the light off, then step away from the REM pod, please. Do you feel someone in here? Room? Maybe they got scared with the light off. No, the flashlight just turned on. Right when you said that. Are you scared of the dark? If you are, please step away. <gasps> oh no! And we just turned the light off. <laughs> Do you want us to turn the light? I was gonna say on. Are you recording? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just stopped. Do you want us to turn the light on? Make it stop. Make the REM pod stop, and turn the flashlight off. Flashlight's, flashlight's off. off. Make the REM pod stop, and we'll turn the light in here on, completely on. We'll give you 15 seconds to make it stop completely. <clears throat> okay. It wants the light on. Alright, should we turn the light on? Mm -hmm. I guess so. <laughs> Alright. I heard a little tap. There's this yeah, I did too. <gasps> oh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I also, there's also like where my mom is from in Michoacan, like deep down, no, it's not like Mexico, Mexico. Um, we go to this church and um there's this um he's a kid he's not even he's like a teenage kid and he's actually like a real person like he's in the like a glass like, like a you, case like a cake? yeah like he's there like this oh my God. and oh my he's God. like he's basically <laughs> like a um a santo like a how do you say santo saint Santo is saying, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a nice, he's a nice saint, like a nice santo. Like, people ask him, like, oh, like, please cure me for, like, this or yeah. that. And he, like, um, they believe in him. And, like, he has, like, a really, really sad story. Like, I don't want to say the wrong story, but, like, this is what I remember. My mom, like, telling me that, like, his mom and dad would, like, hit him. Like, they were really mean to him. And, like, 
It was just really bad. And like he wanted to, his parents were not religious and he really, really wanted to do his first community. But he never, I think I said it right. I don't know how to say it right. I'm sorry. But he never, he, his parents didn't let him. So he like, uh, he'll like um, escape from his house when he can and go to church. And then he finally, he did his first um, thing. I, I don't want to say it again. First communion. And um, his parents found out. And I think, I, I'm not sure if they beat him to death or something or something like that. And he, and you can see his scratches, like he's real in the thing. Yeah, you can see him. Where is that? That's it, in Michoacan. Oh, oh, where you were telling us? Yeah. Oh. Like you could go see the, the um, I, I, I forgot his um, name. <laughs> I forgot his. All right, yeah, let us know. Let us be down. Yeah. How many likes? Yeah. How many likes? Eight hundred thousand likes, guys. Eight hundred thousand. <laughs> you heard it here first. Eight hundred k. Sarah, Sarah likes it. So everybody go. wants Just me kidding. to go. To, everybody wants me to go to Mexico to visit my family because they got some crazy stories too. Oh, we should take them there. Yeah. yeah you guys down? Oh, yeah. we're down. We're yeah. not for anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, when I go, I'll, you guys are okay. Guys know. Crazy for that, but oh my god, <laughs> I don't even know how I'm here. Like honestly, I don't know how I'm here. Like really? my legs feel so weak. I just I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so Nikki and Amanda got me the gift of tarot. Thank you. Gift it out for us. Let us know how accurate it is. Alrighty. Now you're gonna have to help me with the. Oh shit! Oh. oh. I'm super excited to see what yours says. And so basically what it said is when you, oh, before you like look at them, like hold them in your hands and like it says, what is it, Amanda, what was the word? Permeate. Permeate, <laughs> permeate into it. Sweat so, into it? I think like close your eyes and just like put your energy into it or something. And once you do that after a little bit, you shuffle them and then lay them on the counter all face down in a line. Everybody close your eyes. Permeate. Don't look at me. <laughs> you guys ready to turn around? You guys did? <laughs> yeah, I turned around. <laughs> I the left one, which you pick up first, so you can look at the left one, and this is supposed to be your past. Um, <laughs> True. <laughs> <What does that? laughs> Don't let worry hold you back. It's time to take that leap into the wild unknown. Ooh. Let your innocence be your guide. You can dance off a cliff. What? Mm -hmm. Knowing that you will either bounce or fly. <laughs> either way, you change your luck simply by taking a chance at something new. Oh. Okay, so that was your past. Oh, okay. The card in the middle signifies present influences and your current circumstances. Okay. The magician. Ooh. Ooh. You have all the tools you need to make things happen. You're being challenged to create the life you want by using what is within your grasp. What you bring into your world is yours. Engage your mind, hands, and heart today. Oh. And then, yeah, the last card is oh. just future <laughs> events in your near future. Four of Pentacles. Oh, we got. <coughs> we got. Uh, I got nine of Pentacles. I got ten and six of Pentacles. Pay attention to your bottom line. Don't make any rash cash decisions. Don't loan money. Your best bet right now is to say no to large purchases. Oh my God, we're about to move out. I'm no, that's the, that's the future. That's in the future, not right now. <laughs> your best bet right now is to say no to large purchases. Focus more on how you can increase your finances. The time is perfect for getting your budget down on paper. Yeah, that's really relevant right now. That's <laughs> crazy. Almost, <laughs> all of them were with finances. Second and third were both with finances. Oh, yeah. The present and future. That's crazy. It was just the past card that was oh. a little different. Thank you guys. Of course. <laughs> In October, Amanda sensed something negative buried in my courtyard out there because if we go out, I'll show you, but it's the whole planter is dirt except for this six foot gap where it was covered in brick. And I've lived here my whole life, so I never thought it was weird until she walked down the room. She's like, what the hell? Because it goes around the entire house and just six feet of it is covered in brick. Well, I like, I laid on it. It's literally the size of a body. Yeah. Uh-huh. So and she, you think something's in there? Well, yeah, I like knew something was buried in so, there. So, but my dad let us break the brick apart and start digging and we pulled out this thing called a witch's ladder. Like all these what? people commented, they're like, that's a witch's ladder. Like, we pulled it out and yeah. it, it, when we were like pulling it out of the dirt, it was like the dirt was falling, like it was coming and coming and coming. And every few inches or so, there was something tied in the rope or the thread with knots. And it was like little bone or no. something. Yeah, like yeah. little <laughs> twigs. Little 
sticks, like sharp whittled sticks in a cross. Well, an X or a cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like every few inches or so, and it was all tied together oh, with- So what you guys did to that? So we what? didn't even know what it was when we pulled it out. Like we pulled it out and thought it was trash and like threw it back into the pile, you know? And then when we posted the video up online, everyone was like, what the fuck? We just pulled out a witch's ladder and we started doing research and we're like, oh my God, we just pulled out a witch's ladder. According to Wikipedia, a witch's ladder is a practice in folk magic or witchcraft that is made from knotted cord or hair that normally constitutes a spell. Charms are knotted or braided with specific magical intention into the cords. The number of knots and nature of charms varies with the intended spell, but this spell is not complete without the traditional chant. By knot of one, the spell's begun. By knot of two, the magic comes true. By knot of three, so it shall be. By not a full Okay, that's enough. I'm scared. And Are you guys wearing gloves? Oh, and I was the one who touched it. Oh, hell no. It was covered with bricks, like a layer of bricks. And then when we broke apart that, it was a layer of concrete that was a few inches thick. And when we got past that layer of concrete, it was just like dirt, like the planter. But it was dirt and like those big cement blocks, you know, that have like the holes in them, like tons of stuff like that all thrown in on top. So it was like a multiple day project to get all of this shit off on top of where we even thought it was before we could start digging and break dirt, you know, move anything. We found out that witches' ladders are made by witches, usually to preserve like a bad spell of harming someone. They're meant to never be found, like they're hidden. So that's why it was buried under all of this like layers of dirt and cinder blocks and uh, concrete and bricks and everything like that. Like whatever we dug up wasn't supposed to be dug up. Ooh. So the weirdest thing, like other than the witches' ladder is there was a banana peel, like just under the concrete, laying on top of the dirt and it was completely yellow. Like, and you heard Mackie, her parents bought this house 32 years ago and that concrete, like those bricks were out there already laid. So why what would a banana peel be perfectly preserved after 32 years? And then it got weirder when like, we just tossed it to the side and you know, we're like, whatever. And 10 minutes later we looked over and it was completely black, dried, withered, like looked like it had been in the ground for 32 years. So we just tossed it back in the dirt and it's still out there. Is, can we see it? Or is um, like it's, buried? it's buried, oh, but really? we can see where it's buried, I okay, bet. Yeah. Now let's go out. Are there lights out here? Not really, no. Okay. Are we going out? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Let's see where it was buried. Oh, yeah. We've never investigated out here. We tried once, but we only made it like five minutes because it was like 3 a.m. and we were so scared. My dad literally just planted. He literally just planted stuff right here, like last week. So the brick went from here to probably honestly right here and it was like hollow underneath it was just like someone took bricks and like it was really weird that is freaking weird and this is the corner of the garage right here where the guy died and yeah do you think they did that or maybe they like cursed the house i think it might have been i don't know amanda are you out here right here okay <laughs> was it you that said <laughs> that you thought that whatever was here might have like pushed the guy to like kill himself. Oh, that was like a theory that we had. Yeah. We were like throwing everything out, you know, but we did think it was super odd. The very first time that I ever came to Mackie's house, I didn't know anything. And uh, while we were in that garage, I was like, what's behind that wall? And she was like, just the courtyard. And I was like, oh, okay. And that was the end of it. Like never yeah. thought anything about it. So here we are like seven months after that. And so I was standing here hanging out. All of a sudden I was like, oh my God, where you're standing, I just got this overwhelming sick feel like feeling that there was something buried there. Like I knew it. And so that's why we started digging. It was in Should this corner that it would like the thread was that we were pulling out from like right there. But yeah, we can investigate out here. I'm down. To see what's going to happen. I'm gonna turn my head off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep mine off, I'll keep mine off. I know. Can you stop, sir? Oh, stop! Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's not a cricket. What if it's like a... Oh, no, have you heard of an S walker? <laughs> Wait, what? did you guys take a picture of the... The... Um, his ladder? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we have, have it all on video. video. Oh. I can probably... Pull it up. Why is the cricket not going? No, <laughs> I know. <laughs> like you respectfully no, asked him happened. to stop. Scary. Oh, shit. Almost fell. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have laughed. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I listened. Yeah. Oh, Could you imagine if you just ate it? And like on this. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna fall on this when her hole. Into the pit. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's not funny. The window. <laughs> no, it says she heard a tap on the window. Wait, you heard a tap on the window? Like a little knock like that. That's, That's the corner okay. that Kaya yeah. always loses her mind and growls into. Yeah, right there. Oh, you shit. Shit. On the garage wall right here? Yeah, I did. I'm not gonna have the volume on because I think I might hang myself. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, don't say have that. Have you ever heard yourself talk on camera? It's oh tight. It's yeah. tight. Come here. It's tight. <laughs> it's tight. <laughs> it's tight. It looks like it's coming from where Kyle was standing. It is. Was, was your dad there? Oh, that was the first thing that no. came out. And yeah. there's the other ones. See, there's another one that just came out. You guys did this at night? Yeah. Oh, no. okay, you guys are crazy. There's a little cross. Though those are the bone things. Oh, what yeah. Are those bones? Oh my god, you're touchy now. Oh, so that's, that's it. It's called a Yeah, because there's seven knots in it, so we, we broke it. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh. The flashlight just went on right when I said that. No. Well, okay. wait. Since we've done that, we've never done an investigation out here. This will be the first. Tonight's the night. Let me ask one question. All right. Turn off to answer you. Oh, it did. Si eres una bruja, aprende la luz. Oh, she has. Thank you, bitch. Turn on the lights. Maybe it's shy because we're all staring. Because <laughs> we're all staring. Okay. If you were, Let's all look away. We got, I have. If you were <laughs> bound here by a witch, can you turn that flashlight on? Cricket's going wild. Can you stop, little cricket? If there's a spirit that's out here, open to communicating with us. What do your neighbors think about this? I know. Can you turn that <laughs> flashlight on for us? That f pink flashlight on the table right there. I really don't know what a flashlight is. Can you tap it? Do you hear that tapping? Yes. 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 Oh, sounds like on the tree. We also have this red light in the pit. <gasps> flashlight. Oh. Maybe See, we we, Yeah, when we look yeah. away. All of us, yeah. Alright. Well, we can still see it. Okay. We also turn the light off red light in the pit. Could you go near it or put some energy into it? Or turn our flashlight off, that pink thing that you just turned on. Can you turn it off? It's off. Oh, it is off. Wow. Oh. All right. Would you ask that question that you asked again in Spanish? In Spanish? Si eres una bruja, uh, puedes aprender la luz, por favor. Maybe this one possibly. Like, what the hell do you think? <laughs> if you're a witch, would you turn that flashlight on, please? That pink light? I heard that too. I'm scared. If you were bound here by a witch, could you turn that flashlight on? Si, estás atrapada aquí. Puedes uh, prender la luz, por favor. Oh, there's just a tap literally right here from the inside the garage. I almost fell in the oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Did the man who took his life know about the witch's ladder buried here? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's literally what we thought. Yeah. Okay. Was the man who lived here affected by the witch's ladder? Can you... The knock. Can you I, turn that was it? my footsteps. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me get over here. Can you turn the light off if the old... Oh. What were you going to say? If the old man who lived here was affected. Holy shit. The what? old man who like, killed himself was like affected by whatever was buried here. Tradición antigua, la escalera de la bruja, la cuerda de 40 nudos, se dice que podría utilizarse para lanzar un hechizo de muerte sobre una persona. 
la bruja ataba los nudos firmemente bajo el poder del odio y escondía la cuerda para que la víctima no pudiera encontrarla, porque la única cura era encontrar la cuerda y desatar los nudos. Is the witch's ladder here something that affects Mackie? Can you turn the light off if it is? Is it something that affects her health? Turn it off if it is. If it's not, can you turn the flashlight off? It's not something that affects her health? Was, was that you guys? What? Was that you, Nelly? Yeah, that was my foot. Oh. oh. Sorry. It's off. When um, I walked away, maybe, I came over here because I was like, I'm well, maybe I'm too close. Maybe someone did witchcraft to him. So my camera's maybe blurry. Maybe affected him. Your camera's blurry. Sometimes. Really blurry. People do witchcraft to yeah. like, hurt someone and so that they could die. Right. So maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Maybe he got sick. Someone yeah. witched bad up on him. Yeah. So, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. You know, you say like, some witches be doing stuff so that people have bad thoughts. I'm sorry for yeah. what happened. Everything is symbolic. Yeah. And they say that witches' ladders were typically like, like they're used to bind spells and like they're used to bind spells, so they're never supposed to be dug up. Oh, shit. And particularly yeah. negative spells. So that sounds like so what what could happen to you guys for doing? I don't know. It really like. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Before I didn't <laughs> <find out. laughs> The cricket stopped. It was so <laughs> shocked. <laughs> we didn't really read anything that like could happen to us in particular. It was more like what to do if you do dig it up. It said it can unleash like negative things, but oh my not. god. It said that you can um, untie the knots and let it go in water, that you should rebury it where you found it. Like there's a lot of just conflicting information. So we really don't even know what to do. Like it's, we, it's witchcraft yeah. isn't something that we know anything yeah. about. Yeah. Just Nothing. leave it alone. Yeah. Was I mean, it bad to dig it up? Do any spirits out here want to communicate mm -hmm. with us? Mm -hmm. Keep it off one of our devices if you do. Oh, was that, that not you? That no, was that footsteps. Was Those were footsteps. Those were footsteps. Those were footsteps. It sounded like a so little kiss. It did. You hear the ground. Like, like when you hear it. Should we yoga? No, no, no. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Monica, please. Rampot right here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Monica. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you, go inside. No, no, hell no. I feel like inside feels safer. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Not by myself. I feel more scared in the dark ass car. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm I would die. Um, I'm scared you're gonna make me laugh, Lupita. Why? Because you're gonna pee your pants? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly. You know, Monica always pees her pants. Oh, all right. Oh, you always yeah. you you should. When I saw. So <laughs> no, because. No. As I look down, there's like a little bit of puddle right here. <laughs> It's because I she makes me laugh too hard sometimes. <laughs> don't, don't make oh, me. I, I won't make you I'll laugh. Tell them about the park. <laughs> oh no. Uh, stop. <laughs> I, well, I'm not embarrassed. Every it, it can happen to people. I had diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I had diarrhea and that day like I was really sick and I and I was like oh um yeah I'll go with you but um once we made it to like the second park I'm like I'm so sorry Bobby but I have to run and then I showed yeah. her like my goosebumps because I had really bad diarrhea <laughs> so I ran I ran to the park and um at the in the park there's no like doors like so it's just yeah. there you know like yeah. the toilet is there people could see you <laughs> and I and I know <laughs> I went like this and it just went <laughs> <laughs> and the poop was everywhere so it was there for months I don't know if it's still there but it gets worse and worse because, no. because Bobby she didn't even come inside she could smell it from outside I'm so sorry I, I was really embarrassed and then someone else came inside and like, thank god I was done before she came and I, I, I literally, that? I was just like, oh my god, they're not gonna think it was me because you know, like, I'm like, they all do it. <laughs> was like, even I. Like, yeah. yeah. Are you gonna tell your story? Oh, I wasn't going to, but now I will. <laughs> we were at Griffith Park, and I. Oh, like, we went there, right? I, was, I have stomach issues. Well, we were in a mile, a mile. Uh, there's a flashlight. Okay. We were a mile into the hike, and we were with my brother, her brother her husband, her brother's girlfriend, so there's a big group of us. There's footsteps all the way down. 
<laughs> and so we're walking up the trail and all of a sudden it like hit me and I'm like, like I gotta go. And there's nowhere to go out here. And I'm like, Amanda, like I gotta go now. And my brother It was, was one like, of our first times filming yeah, together yeah, too. Yeah. It was a real test. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so I'm like, I don't know what to do. And she's like, you gotta just go in the plans. And so <laughs> what else do you do? Oh. <gasps> Wait, that that, was that an accident block. or something? No, that was an accident. <laughs> yeah, like, that was just an accident. This is gonna be an accident. <laughs> I don't have well, toilet she's, like, she's looking around and she's like, yeah, does anyone have toilet paper? And Brandon goes, I oh, always yeah. have toilet paper in my bag. And Mackie's like, oh, thank can, God. Can I please have some? And he's like, I didn't bring my bag. I'm like, okay. So I was about to go and then she told me that there was a bathroom down the hill. And yeah, so like, we sprinted there the mile and <laughs> somehow I made it. <laughs> Did you explode like this one? <laughs> yeah, but she's a sire and everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, my poop was everywhere. I was embarrassed. But no, it wasn't like that. And like, I really don't fine. care because it could happen to anybody. <laughs> like, it literally, it could happen to anyone. Public service announcement. I have literal tears in my eyes. <laughs> That was your story was so funny. Yeah. No, she's she's a silent. She doesn't want sure. another one. <laughs> you know, this is More. disgusting. I don't know oh why. God. What was that? Why are you guys <laughs> running? Why are you guys running? There's more no noises. If, if that was you, turn off the light. <gasps> Did it just turn off? <laughs> if you want us to shut up, turn it back on, please. If you're glad that we're not in your courtyard anymore, turn it on. If it's Mackie's neighbor and you think that we should shut the f*** up, just let us know. <laughs> Give us a little hey -o. Oh, oh, oh she just <laughs> Not in front of the guests. <laughs> I could decency. I could leave. Oh, wait, I want to hear another, I want to hear the second chip story. Okay. Like, are what we going back out there? Oh, God. Let's go. Alright, let's go. I'll turn on the light, so. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> don't follow us. Hi. Hi. Oh good. The way we all just start filing. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving this camera here for you to communicate with. Feel free to talk into it, say whatever you want, leave some messages. That one sounds like someone sitting there whistling, which concerns me because I feel like whistling at night in any circumstance is not good. <laughs>
Monica actually sent me this one a couple days ago and just listening to it, it sounds like someone standing at the camera talking. To her, at first she said it sounded like love me. I heard that, but I also heard it sound like lonely. I told her that voice does not sound like my neighbor's voice. It's not raspy, it's not deep, it just doesn't sound like his voice at all. And the fact that that's coming from my courtyard like we've seen weird stuff out there. Weird stuff happens out there. It's always had a really heavy vibe. Just hearing that is even more terrifying. Say bye. 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 Thanks for coming. Oh, that was me. Oh <laughs> my god. That's so Thanks for coming and checking out the house. Thank I you for inviting us. Of course. And it's fun. We come back anytime and we can do the rest of the room. So. Oh, I'll challenge you guys to stay in my room, like for my first video. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's that. do it. Mm -hmm. What about if we do it? You do an Estes method in your room with us. Hmm. Oh yeah. my god. Wait, what does that mean? Is that no no no? It's like the spirit box session, but she'd have headphones on, so Good. she'd be the only one hearing what was coming through on the spirit box. Get I'm down. Like she's like a human right. spirit box because she'd say the answers. I'm down. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Uh, well, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Bucket list. Subscribe to their channel. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs>